what's going on guys beastly gamer here welcome to the beastly gamer channel today we're going to do a little talk about sunset overdrive a game that came out exclusively for the xbox one quite a few years ago and how sony now owns the rights to it so this game was actually really popular uh, for the Xbox One around its release. Uh, the developer had worked uh, with Sony for years and then jumped ship, went to Microsoft and developed Sunset Overdrive. People played it, they liked it, some loved it, some loved it more than others, but for all intents and purposes, the game was a success. Now, through this new acquisition, Sony actually owns the IP. And according to comicbook.com, it doesn't sound like they have plans for it. This week, Sony acquired Insomniac Games, a developer that's been flirting with acquiring for what feels like a decade or two, and a developer who's made Sony both Marvel Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank series. However, Insomniac Games also made games for other publishers, including Sunset Overdrive, which Microsoft published as an Xbox One exclusive. That said, while Microsoft published the game, Insomniac Game owns the rights to the franchise, which means Sony now owns Sunset Overdrive. That said, it doesn't look like PlayStation makers have any plans for it. I call BS on that. Speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, PlayStation boss Sean Layden commented on the zany open world shooter series, which was reminiscent of Jet Set Radio. And judging by Layden's comments, it's not a series on PlayStation's radar. And that's a total lie. <laughs> Quote, That was a great experience for Insomniac, and they learned a lot through that as well. As far as the IP itself, we really haven't turned over the files on that one to see what that actually means, to be honest. We like what we've been doing with the Spider-Man franchise, and things like Ratchet and Clank are certainly vital series in the present and future. That's what we're concentrating on, end quote. As you can see, Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man played probably a pretty big role in the acquisition, and it sounds like there's plenty more of each franchise to come, which isn't very surprising. And it's important to remember that unlike many big developers, Insomniac Games has ample experience with VR, which may have been taken into consideration. Ooh, bring something, ooh, something nice to PSVR. In other words, Sunset Overdrive is probably near the bottom of the totem pole, meaning I'll be surprised if we ever see a sequel. Yeah, uh, I truly think that the author is pulling some serious strings to, to come up with that conclusion. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, for, for all intents and purposes, was a very successful game for the Xbox. Of course, it didn't drive millions and millions of sales, but for the Xbox's numbers and for its audience, that game was important and pivotal. Now, uh, with Insomniac going over to Sony and that property now being owned by Sony, just the acquisition alone and having a Sunset Overdrive, which was an Xbox One port on a PlayStation, or having the sequel on the PlayStation, and putting in things like, imagine putting Ratchet and Clank in the game. Imagine putting Spider-Man in the game, you know, in, in part two. I mean, it's all part of the same uh, ecosystem now. People will lose their mind. And so just to say that I see that at the bottom of a totem pole, it's completely preposterous in my opinion. You guys, let me know what you think. Did you play Sunset Overdrive for the Xbox One? Did you like it? What are your thoughts on Sony acquiring uh, this IP? And do you think they will come up with a sequel or do something with it? I personally think they totally will. They'd be crazy not to uh, kind of enchant it with their other IPs and put Spider-Man in it and some of the other characters that are owned by Sony and really, you know, make it stand out compared to the original on the Xbox. But hey, I'm just a beastly gamer. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, show support for my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.